Assalamu alaikum guys, welcome back to Civil Engineers YouTube channel. In the series of 200 technical terms for civil engineers, this is the part second video. Okay, if you didn't watch the part first, so the link is in the description of this video or you will see uh, at the end of this video. The part first, you should watch the part first video or just click on this i button. So watch part first and this is the part second and I will start from the 11 terms to 20. Okay, so let's start guys. If this video is helpful for you, so must like this video. So guys, in 200 technical terms for civil engineers part 2, we will start from part uh, term number 11. Okay, that is uh, specially uh, related with concrete. The concrete can be lifted to the maximum height of 50 meters using concrete pump. If the height of the lift is more than 50 meters, so there you will not use lift for concrete but you will use concrete pump because if you are using the lift so it will make uh, bleeding segregation okay so you will lose the material so you will use concrete pump the concrete can be lifted to the maximum height of 50 meter using concrete pump very important okay so as you know uh, we have already discussed in many videos that uh, the minimum height of concrete fall should not be more than 1.5 meter but NRCC slab or beam column but this is for the uh, for more height to the uh, maximum height of 50 meter therefore you should use concrete pump the second one is guys also related uh, with concrete RCC structure the curing period of RCC is 28 days the curing period of RCC is 28 days that's why because we have different grade of concrete and different grade of concrete has different ratio proportion of concrete so we will uh, we can check the compressive strength of concrete after 28 days so therefore the curing period of RCC is 28 days where concrete can get full strength 99% uh, strength it can get uh, after 28 days so therefore the curing period should be for RCC 28 days if that is beam column or slab but it's also uh, depend on the different uh, season okay now guys the 13th one is the 13th term is the transfer reinforcement provide in column is called tie the transfer reinforcement provide in column is called tie how you can see these are longitudinal bars for RCC column so guys uh, we use the transverse you can see transfer reinforcement provide in column is called ties so this is called ties okay and the transverse reinforcement provide and beam is called stirrup so there is a difference one is beam and the other one is column when we provide here this reinforcement bar okay so here in beam this is called stirrup this is the technical term so in beam the transfer reinforcement is called stirrup and in column it is called ties or tie okay now guys what is the work of stirrup and uh, stirrup and beam the 15 technical term okay the 15th one is you can see stirrups and beam and tie and column you can see stirrup and beam and ties and column okay are provided to handle the shear force and keep the longitudinal bars in position so therefore we use or we provide ties and also stirrups you can see guys these are longitudinal bars okay so it is not in position when we don't provide ties same in rc uh, in rcc beam if we don't provide the stirrups so it will not hold okay it cannot handle and also it resist shear force and keep longitudinal bars these main bars and also uh, in column okay uh, in position it keep longitudinal bars in position if that is beam or column right 
Guys, here the 16th one is lentil thickness. So minimum lentil thickness should not be less than 15 centimeter. Lentil thickness. You can see guys here, uh, this is a, for example, this is the front elevation of a room. Okay. And here you can see this is window and this is door. So on the window and door here, we will provide what a beam okay so that is called lentil beam okay and lentil beam should be minimum with the thickness of 15 centimeter 6 inch or 0.15 meter right here guys the 17 term is lentil should be provided at the 2.4 meter in the case of brick wall so now there is a question where we will provide lentil lentil beam especially in brickwork so in brickwork the lentil beam should be provided to the height of 2.4 meter here so it should be to the height of 2.4 meter remember this point in the case of brickwork brick masonry wall not in block or not in stone wall okay in the case of brick wall Guys, here the 18th term is minimum dia of bar used in slip, uh, in slip 10 mm. As you know, guys, uh, especially in slip, okay, we have guys there, main bar and distribution bar. You can see here, as you can see, this is main bar. And this side is showing you distribution bars, okay. So use minimum dia of bar use uh, or uh, minimum dia of bar used in slab 10 mm. So less than 10 mm dia of bar should not be less than uh, use in RCC slab. Especially 10 mm should be used for the distribution bar. You can see this one is distribution bar. Okay. And main bar dia should not be less than 12 mm. Remember this point but nowadays you can see in many uh, building construction main bar and distribution bar dia is same but guys i recommend you for main bar the main bar dia should be maximum compared to distribution bar if the distribution bar dia is for example 12 mm okay so the main bar dia should be 14 mm okay so if uh, the distribution bar is 10 mm so the main bar in rcc slab should be 12 mm but main bar should be maximum compared to distribution bar okay this is the term number 18 now guys the 19 term uh, that one is use minimum 12 millimeter dia of steel bar at the bottom of plinth beam use minimum 12 mm dia of steel bar at the bottom of plinth beam how you can see guys here Okay, you can see this is a plinth beam uh, section. You can see this is its cross section. So guys, use minimum 12 millimeter dia of steel bar at the bottom. So the bottom steel bar dia should be maximum compared to upper dia or upper portion steel bar. It should be minimum 12 millimeter in plinth beam okay because the uh, the bottom bar is also called main bar and plinth beam and it's provide for the tension because concrete is uh, concrete is uh, weak in tension so therefore in tension member at, at bottom member the dia should be maximum compared to upper dia or top uh, top diameters of steel bar okay this is very important use minimum 12 millimeter guys the last one is use minimum 10 millimeter dia of steel bar at the top of plant beam use minimum 10 millimeter so it should not be less than 10 millimeter you can see use minimum 10 mm dia and beam at the top portion okay also guys at the bottom we will use uh, for example, if you are using two numbers of steel bar at the top, so use a minimum three numbers at the bottom because the bottom steel bars should be increased for 
tension because concrete is weak in tension so therefore we will provide because the top bars transfer the load to the lower portion to the bottom portion so therefore uh, its dia should be also maximum and we should use more numbers of steel bar compared to upper portion okay guys so uh, this is the part second in the series of 200 technical terms for civil engineer and every civil engineer should be remember these points which i am telling you because this is guys very important if you are working on construction site or if you are non-civil engineer if you are civil engineering students so this is very important so wait for the third part of 200 technical terms so guys if you have any question related with this topic so you can comment i will try to reply your answer thanks for watching see you in next video Goodbye.